Today we're going to talk about the Bell's palsy. Bell's palsy is the disorder that is affecting our nerve, which is the, called the cranial nerve 7. It's called the facial nerve. The nerve that supplies the muscle for our facial expression, such as smiling or moving your mouth from side to side. And also, they also give some branches that supply your sensation to the tongue. So sometimes if you suffer from the Bell's palsy, a person will experience some numbness or even uh, no sensation in the tongue. Because the nerve is so close to the other nerve that supply uh, our head, so sometimes people have the Bell's palsy will also experience in the same time of dizziness or headache and sometimes ringing ear. A lot of uh, research indicating that the Bell's palsy is a result of the viral infections. But the exact cause at this point in time, we still do not know. Majority of the, this kind of patient, about 70 to 80 percent, will have a spontaneous recovery, meaning that once the inflammation in the uh, facial, uh, facial nerve, which is the cranial nerve 7, the inflammation dissolve, uh, will resolve in this inflammation and their function, the muscle function, will turn back. Unfortunately, there are a small percentage of the people who will suffer permanent uh, muscle weakness or uh, paralysis of the muscle. The most important thing is that we need to make the proper diagnosis. Make sure that you suffer from Bell's palsy, not the stroke. And this needs to be done by your medical doctor. And one of the ways for you to check is that if you can close your eyes with both eyes, most likely, you do not have Bell's palsy, but rather you might have a stroke. But if you cannot close one eye, one side of the eye, and also have some drooping, and the, a lot of tearing also, that means most likely you have Bell's palsy. But again, to make a proper diagnosis, you need to go to see the medical doctor immediately if you suffer from this symptom. And in the upcoming video, we're going to show you some facial exercise, how to uh, do this exercise to help with uh, the problem that you have, Bell's palsy. And aside from the exercise, there's also one tr some treatment can be done, which is the uh, acupuncture. With the acupuncture, they can help stimulating your uh, inflammation to become dissolved or, or resolve the inflammation and also improve the neural conduction and also the recovery of the uh, symptom and all these things can be very helpful or beneficial uh, for people who suffer from the Bell's palsy.